Hey family, welcome back to another banger! Your girl is about to head off to another continent. I'm going to the motherland, y'all. I'm about to head to Africa. But before I go, you guys requested a couple very important videos. You guys are asking questions about how I backpack, how I pack, how I plan my trips. What are the top must have items that I bring on my trips to ensure my comfortability, my effectiveness, my ability to enjoy myself to the absolute most? So I'm here in this video right now to share the top must haves for your backpacking trip. I was only gonna do five, but then as I'm packing, I'm realizing like, no, they have to have this one and they have to have that one. So you guys are getting it all, all right? Right after this, woo! All right, y'all, welcome back. I have all of this amazing stuff to share with you guys right now. Some of the stuff I have had since my very first backpacking trip in 2016. So it's like really good that you can invest in these things and you don't have to rebuy them every trip. Um, and some of the things that I had to rebuy recently because either, you know, wear and tear or I've lost things. So um, some of them are brand spanking new, but I will go through with you guys why I have it, what's the benefit of having it and why you need to invest in it if you go on your very first backpacking trip or any backpacking trip. I'm gonna start with my Dollarama items and then I'll move into my Amazon items. The great thing about everything that I have here is that you can technically buy most of this on Amazon. It's just really a matter of the brand and you know when you need it by and all of that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff I just ended up buying at Dollarama because it was cheaper. Some stuff I bought at Shoppers Drug Mart because I was just there and I saw it. But really you can buy pretty much all of this on Amazon. Before we get started, I just want to say that everybody backpacks differently. There's obviously things that I don't have that could make my trip a lot easier. And there's things that I'm going to share with you guys that other backpackers might not think is essential. So these are my tops and I'm going to explain very clearly as to why it's my top, why it's essential, why I feel that every trip I go on, I need to have these items. Before I get started though, I wish you guys could see the pile up I have beside me right now. Like, I have things piled up to my waist or a little higher at the side of me because I have that many things that I felt that was essential to share with you guys. So, be grateful. Okay, so item number one. Wah, wah, wah. Not that exciting, right? It is just a folder. I got this folder from Dollarama. I really try and get the ones that are a little bit smaller, like half the size of it, just so it's easier to pack, but they didn't have any. But the reason that a folder is essential on a backpacking trip, it could be a folder, it could be a sleeve, like a plastic sleeve of some sort or a filing folder, anything that could keep all of your travel documents secure in one place. When you are backpacking, you're normally going from country to country, from city to city, and you might need to secure things such as your travel itinerary, your flight information, visas, any tickets or any excursion slips that you need to remember or shuttle tickets that you need to get back or to, to and from somewhere. Those are things that you want to have in an organized place so i always have a folder with me to keep track of where my flights are when i need to check in by all of that and because this trip is so different it's my first time backpacking during a pandemic i have to be very 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 clear and organized about when i have to do my covid testing from one country to another so yes a folder essential item number two a lock again this was bought at dollarama it seems so small not that exciting right this is essential for backpacking because there are times that you stay in hostels there might be times that you stay in places that you want to have your stuff locked up 
Um, there's even times when you're waiting to go to the airport, but you have to check out of your Airbnb or hotel in the meantime. And maybe you want to go and sightsee while you're waiting for your flight, or you want to still enjoy some time on the beach. So you want to lock up your stuff and ensure that everything is in one place, you know, to prevent any theft or anything getting lost and to keep you on track with your flight times and all of that good stuff. Um, I feel that a lock, not only for a locker is essential, but also locks on your actual bag. I have two different locks that I bring with me normally. I have a cage lock, which actually locks my whole um, backpack to like a pole or anything like that if I need to do it and leave it there so no one can just run off with my whole bag. Um, but you can also put actual travel locks on the zippers of your bag as well. Okay, so before we get into Amazon stuff because Amazon obviously takes over my entire bank account. I'm going I'm going to go into my Home Depot and Shoppers Drug Mart things because um, there's not many of them. Alrighty, so um, just from traveling to so many different places, sometimes you have hostels where you only have one plug. Sometimes you have even a hotel room where not all the plugs work or you're in a villa or some type of Airbnb home where there's only one plug or you need to charge multiple items on that plug. Um, I super recommend bringing a power bar with you. I always bring a power bar with me so that I have ample amount of space to charge multiple things at one time. This also helps with surge protection. So when you go to, to new places, you do have to use a universal um, charging port for a lot of places in the world like European or even if you go to Japan there's a specific Japanese one you have to use so it's important to get a power bar that has surge protection because sometimes their voltage is different than the voltage that your um, devices are equipped to be able to handle and you don't want the the power to just disable your device or ruin your device in any way um, so this one's really cool because so this one's from Home Depot this one's really cool because um, It is a USB charger So there's two USB plugs there and then there's four spots to plug actual three prong three prong plugs into um, So I like this because a lot of the devices that I have nowadays they come with the USB cord But nothing is coming with the actual box to charge my devices So this power bar I don't need that actual piece in order to charge my devices um, And secondly, I also bought a premium wall charger So what I like about this is it has four ports for a USB. I recommend bringing this on a backpacking trip Oh it flew out of my hand. <laughs> I recommend bringing this to a backpacking trip because this allows um, for you to charge multiple devices. Like if you're like me, you have a lot of camera equipment, you have headphones that you need to charge, you have your phone you need to charge, that's gonna take up all of the space in this. And then you can just plug it in to your one power bar and then you have two additional um, little slots at the bottom as well. Um, and you have ample amount of space to charge your devices. I'm gonna go into this, which technically I should go into the last thing um, to lead into my Amazon purchases because I also have the same thing from Amazon, but I'm gonna start with this from Walmart and then I will go into the last thing so it nicely flows into Amazon purchases. Okay, so um, you 100% need this when you're backpacking. Um, it depends where you're backpacking, um, how much you'll need, but I always bring a few packs. So this is Tide uh, travel size laundry detergent. So you have one pack, so for one load. Um, I've even broken this up to two loads you can technically do with a little bit of water. Um, but this is good, so if you do have to wash clothes and you want to run to a laundromat quickly and wash a load, then you have this to wash your clothes. But I also get these Tide hand wash in sink pods and I've actually started getting these from when I would travel to Jamaica not backpacking I would still buy these it was always really nice to have them um, so they're little packages like this you get three of them in a pack and I like these for backpacking because sometimes depending on where you're going like I said you might be in the middle of nowhere you know you want to wash a shirt that you want to wear for an excursion and you don't have a laundry mat so you can wash it in the sink there's soap 
You have hot water, you wash it, and then you just hang it to dry and your clothes are clean. Um, so these are definitely must haves for backpacking. That way you always have clean clothes. Now, if you're going to Asia, specifically like Southeast Asia, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Bali, those countries are so fully equipped with people that are willing to wash your clothes for super cheap for you. And then you just pay them and your clothes are washed. So in Asia, that's always what I do. I don't really worry about washing clothes so much. I still will bring one or two of these just in case, but you definitely can find people that are willing, more than willing to do it for you. All right guys, so my number three item from this section is going to lead us into the Amazon section as well. So I'm going to grab all of the items. So we have universal charging ports. These are essential on a backpacking trip. So this one is from um, Stropper's Drug Mart, and I won't I won't lie to you guys, it's not my favorite one because there's way too many pieces. Like it just comes comes apart. There's actually a third piece upstairs that I haven't connected to it, but there's just so many pieces to it, and I'm just worried that um, you know one piece is gonna get lost, and that was the piece I needed. So I don't actually want to travel with this one, but you need to have a universal charger of some type um, now these two are really good um, this one is from Amazon and this one's from Aliexpress so shoppers drug mart Aliexpress Amazon now why I like these ones so I've used this one traveling the world China Japan Philippines wherever I was going and I've needed to connect and they didn't have the proper wall chargers um, yeah, so I like this because it just slides out. Like whatever one you decide you need will slide out. You just push it and it goes. And this also has two um, USB ports in the front there. I really like it for that purpose because while you're charging um, in the front with uh, your power bar, you can also be charging off the top with a USB uh, cord. So this one's really good, I've used it. It's just bulky and it's not really heavy, but it's just bulky, it's big. So um, I bought a new one for this year to see if I like it. This one is from uh, Amazon. So this one has the Europe plug at the back. Oh, it's locked, hold on, there we go. So, sorry, this one is not Europe. This is British, no, this is the, I think the Japanese one. And then, we have Europe, Europe's there, and then we have Canada, US there, um, and then it also has surge protection built into this charger here. So this one doesn't have the USB section like this one does, which I kind of feel sad about but I think that this one is a lot more compact. Um, it does the same stuff as the other ones. I'll probably bring both um, just so that I have more than one, but um, it does the same thing. These things are kind of hard to get back in to be honest, but it's still smaller. It's sleek, more sleek. Okie doke, so there we go, done. So those are the three. Um, yeah, and you want to have at least one of them because you just never know. And when you're backpacking, you're not normally going to just stay in the metropolitan areas. Normally, you're going to go to villages and smaller towns and countrysides and things like that. And so your accommodations most likely are not going to have the latest plugs where, you know, they are more diversified for travelers and backpackers like you know, when you go to Thailand, Bangkok, all of the plugs are gonna be able to connect our regular plugs to because it's Bangkok, a lot of people go there. But if you go to somewhere like Singburi, which is in Thailand as well, but it's a very small, tiny community, you might stay somewhere that doesn't have the right plug. So you're going to need to have this. Okay, my next favorite item on a backpacking trip is essential, these power banks. So I have four of them. I usually bring at least three, 
Um, reason being is you're going on a lot of flights. You're going to be out and about all day doing excursions, you know, getting to know the locals, eating great food, and you might not have time to just sit and charge your devices or your phone. Um, so I really like having two or three of these that I can bring with me and um, I can ensure that everything is charged. I don't run out of power, especially if I have multiple um, and they last me the full day. Now, this one is my new one and I really like it because it has the cords already connected to it. So it has like Android, um, iPhone, all of the cords you need. It even has like a USB cord here. And that's just so that you can uh, charge all of your devices. You don't have to get a cord. It's already on here and it's built in. This power bank has, um, let me see, up to, I think it's up to 20 hours. 72, sorry. 72 hours, um, so that's a lot of time. Obviously it depends on how often you're charging, what devices you're charging, how you're charging it, um, all of that stuff. So it might not be fully 72, but that's still a really long time. This also has the time on the front and the date. Um, and I have another one upstairs that actually has a USB port as well, um, which I like and it has the cords in the back as well. So there's lots of ways that you're able to um, charge your devices. Okay, Airfly is my next item from Amazon. Now Airfly, I feel is essential if you're doing a long trek that is going to have multiple fl flights or bus rides and train rides where you might be able to connect to their um, sound system or their movies and you want to use your wireless headphones. So all you do is you take off this little thing here, you plug it into their auxiliary jack and then you are able to connect via Bluetooth to this so you're able to listen to their movies without compromising your AirPods or your Beats by Dre or whatever it is that you're using. You don't have to have those annoying cords in front of you. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of this guy here. This is my beloved airplane Snuggie, I call it. Um, this pillow slash blanket has saved me so many times. I'm going to say save my life because it's that dramatic. It saved me so many times. Um, it can be used as a pillow just like this, or when you open it, it's great for the airplane because you open it and you know when you're trying to get comfortable but the blanket keeps falling down and so your shoulders are cold or like enough of it isn't around your back on the airplane and the airplanes are already small. So you put this part around your head like that and so it doesn't fall down. Like there's no slipping and falling at all. And there's a pocket here that you can actually put your devices in. So if you have them just on your lap, you can put them inside here. So you're ensuring that they're not falling on the ground. I also keep my passport in here so that when they do come, they do need to check. It's already in there. We're ready to go. Everything's great. We're good. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this just like everything else that I'm sharing with you guys today. I am going to be posting it on my vlog in the captions. I will post the links for most of this stuff. And if you guys have questions, of course, comment and let me know. So when you're ready to put this back, you just stuff it, stuff it right back. And you zip it and we're ready to go. So this is easy, compact, it's comfortable, it's so essential for a long commute, and I find that it's really easy to pack because you can squish it, you can also tie it and loop it around um, one of the, the loops on your actual backpack, and it's very easy to clean. So 
definitely one of my go-tos i've had mine since 2016 i don't know how i would do go without it especially on long train and bus rides and plane rides like i've said okay so this is my next must have so this towel right here it is a compact microfiber towel i have many of these and i recommend having them it's super compact and it's huge what i like about it is it dries quickly it's super lightweight so it's easy to pack and you can use it in so many ways you can use it as your physical bath towel if you want you can use it just at the beach if you want you can use it to sit on like if you're at a park or something like that it comes with a mesh bag and there's a few companies that i've bought these from um so i will post the ones that i know of on this video um but this is um, they gave me a, a face cloth or a smaller towel as well. So it comes like this. So this is one smaller one and look at how big the big one is. It's huge and it's so thin, but it actually gets the job done. It gets the water off of you. It gets the sand off of you. It, you, you know, you don't feel anything underneath your bum if you're sitting down. Um, so I really, 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 I really, 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 um, recommend getting a microfiber towel when backpacking just because you can use it in so many ways. And this is something that you absolutely a hundred percent will use. It's not one of those meaningless things that people pack in their backpack. It actually would be getting used. Highly recommended. So these two items, these two items are similar, but they're not the same. So every trip I bring these compact bags. So for backpacking, you need to have a day pack. And a lot of backpacks, uh, depending on which brand you're going with, will come with their own day pack actually attached to your backpack. But if your backpack doesn't have this, I definitely recommend going with one of these companies. There's a million of them on Amazon where you can get these compact bags. So this turns into a backpack. And then I will be able to just use this when I go on excursions, you know, when I need to carry things around. I don't have to bring my actual backpack. I just put a few things in here, like my chargers or my cameras, or I can put my towel in here, my, you know, a couple outfits, whatever the case is that you need it for, 100% a recommended product. Now, this one is similar, like I said, to this one except i recommend this differently for different reasons so this is for your day pack like if you're gonna go on excursions and you need a bag you don't want to just bring your big obviously you're gonna bring your big backpack with all your clothes and everything in it this one i bring as a backup so i always bring a backup bag and these ones are great because they're so compact so easy to pack in your bag and this is if i buy a lot of stuff and i need a way to carry it because whatever is in my backpack is already filling the space in my backpack so this one turns into a duffel bag so now i have more space to pack stuff up I can send it home if I want, or I can carry it through um, to my next destination if I want, but at least I have an extra way to carry stuff. And sometimes you won't use it, but at least you have it if you do, by the end of your trip, have a lot of stuff to bring back with you. Okay, last but certainly, certainly not least, must have for backpacking is a fanny pack like this. Now, this is not just any type of fanny pack. Um, this is an easy traveler fanny pack. Um, this ensures that your cards or like anything that needs to, can be encrypted or stolen with certain devices um, won't be. There's like a security thing that's in the front of it that basically stops it. I believe I bought this from Sale, the outdoorsy store. It's like a nature store. 
Um, I bought it, I think, when I bought my backpack, but I could be wrong. I might see if there's one similar on Amazon that I can post for you guys. This is also really good because it's super sleek. So what I've done in the past is I will put it, like say I'm going to markets or I'm gonna be out looking at different things where there's a lot of people and there's pickpocketers and that kind of thing. Um, this is really sleek to put underneath your t-shirt and have it actually on your body. And then you can go and grab your money and whatever you need that way. Um, just lift up your shirt or take it off and then get your money. Um, but at least if you're walking through crowds, it's sleek and it's right on your person. So you don't have to worry about pickpocketers the same way you would if it's on the outside of your body. Now, the one thing that is a disadvantage is it is because it's so sleek it's not gonna fit a ton so if you're the type that needs to bring your lip glosses and you need to bring your phones and you need to bring your iPod and you need to bring your there's a million things that you need to bring chances are it's not gonna all fit in here keep it simple keep your little bit of money a couple cards one lip gloss one phone you might be good um, so yes this absolutely is a must all right, so now that you guys had the chance to see my top must-haves for my backpacking trips, I hope you're able to take a look at the links I'm gonna leave on this video. You're able to buy some of these great products because I'm telling you, even if you don't go backpacking, you can use it on vacation. And I hope that you guys stay tuned for future videos because in the future, you already know I'm about to hit Africa. I'm going on the biggest trip of a lifetime. I need you guys to be a part of it. So go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the notification button, tell your friends and family, like and comment, and make sure you guys come on through for the next one. All right, love you guys, peace.